Hello, I'm Matthew Tinney, a solutions engineer here with StoreTrends, and today I'll be walking you through the 2610i All Flash Array. Let's get started. After logging into the StoreTrends 2610i, which can be done from any browser, you will first see our storage analytics. From here, we can identify capacity, recent events, and performance statistics. The capacity portion is split into two parts. The predicted capacity displays how much capacity you have available on your unit for your host to consume, whereas the physical capacity will show you how much capacity is actually being committed to SSDs after the data compaction. The ratio between these two can be seen at the top right as the data reduction number. Currently we are getting a 4.1 to 1 ratio. Below this, we have a quick and easy reference to the overall status of the unit along with any recent events to keep us well informed. One of the more important aspects is the performance of the unit. We provide an overall latency, which you can currently see is running around one millisecond, IOPS, which can reach upwards of 300,000 on the 2610i. Currently, I'm around 100,000. And lastly, throughput, of the array for quick viewing. These charts update every 15 seconds to provide you with both an instantaneous value as well as an hourly one. Finally, below this, we have the I.O. sizes that are being passed through the unit and also display the read-write ratio within the unit. If you'd like to see more detail or specific volumes st uh, statistics, you can go to the storage pool Volume Statistics, select the volume you'd like to view, and the same information populated on the previous page can be seen for that specific volume. Another great feature that we include in managing your 2610i is the Hardware Health page. From here, we can monitor the physical components that make up your 2610i. For example, drive locations and temperature statistics. The 2610i is a dual controller designed, as you can see here, which allows for zero downtime updates and automatic failover. The statuses of each component are displayed here and can be quickly identified by hovering your mouse over them. We also allow you to view the system from the back to assist you in locating specific NIC ports, fans, and power supplies. Aside from management tasks, one thing you'll probably be handling is volume creation, expansion, and snapshot scheduling. Using our volume creation wizard, you can have volumes ready to present to your host with only a few inputs. Simply enter a name, the size, and if you'll be presenting it to a cluster, and the job will be done. Once the volume has been created, we can simply go to the volume management page for more specifics. Further options and additional information can be found from this page, such as migrating data to this volume, expanding it for more space, IQN name, and IP addresses to assist in accessing the volume or to mount a target. From here we can also schedule snapshots. StoreTrends utilizes redirect on write, 
allowing you to bypass the need to physically copy the data being captured in the snapshot to a different place on the array. This saves capacity, drive rights, and many levels of overhead in your SAM. There are six levels of snapshots that can be configured, ranging anywhere from five minutes to every year. We also select the retention rate of the snapshots we are taking. A user can keep a day's worth of hourly snapshots, daily snapshots for a week, and weekly snapshots for a month, for example, to show the power of our tiering snapshot retention. Thank you for taking a few minutes to view our quick overview of the 2610i All Flash Array. If you would like to learn more, please visit us at www.storetrends.com or call us at 1-800-828-9264.